Welcome back to Lady Rowena's Curse. We last time we finally discovered the well, the well of despair, where Lady Rowena had been lowered down into all those decades ago, where she didn't die but made a pact with some demonic force to escape with her life. In exchange, she is eating the blood, uh, eating the hearts, and drinking the bloods of uh, various people. She put a curse on. Um, well, she cursed the name of uh, Lord Duncan and all his and his new wife and all his descendants, etc. But she seems to have been carrying out the curse personally, <laughs> as well as uh, taking him and his descendants, taking uh, various servants and things as well over the years. Back in Lord of Duncan's time, uh, Alastor, the High Priest of the Hammers, uh, who Duncan consulted, had found a way to put a sleeping seal, not that kind of seal, you know, some kind of magical seal, not the aquatic kind, uh, on her chest as she, as she was asleep that would keep her asleep permanently. So that's why, for the longest time, nothing had been actually happening here. It was all a distant memory. Everyone thought it was just an old, you know, legend, spooky tale people told to uh, scare them. I don't think I've got the notes here. But uh, what must have happened is after blowing up the statue and opening up that, that bottomless pit in the uh, garden, Lord Cedric must have somehow awoken Lady Rowena must have taken the seal off her chest again. And so she began prowling again. She took first one maid, then the next month another maid, and then the third month Lady Isabella, this month. Hopefully we can find Lady Isabella alive still and I save her, but I, I don't know what we're going to do. However, we have been continuing to get notes from uh, Lady Rowena. The last one she gave us, they all look the same, this one, was uh, telling us about the four rooms lead to the paths to four keys, which I guess we're going to need to open, to open the way to the Holy Sword, maybe, or to open that door to hell, whatever, we to find out where we go next. So we've just got the earth key from the path of earth and now we're doing the path of fire to try and find the fire key and hope we don't die as we do it hello I see a fire elemental I have two water arrows good thing I was being sparing with them because uh, I yeah, get off the ladder without alerting everyone. Uh, there's two fire elementals. I could maybe try avoiding them, but I don't know. Maybe we can sit back and observe and see what sort of path they take. There's a chamber up there. in that corner. One of these glowing piles of steam or smoke they cracks on the floor, right? And they come around here. So they, they're just patrolling around these pillars. Okay, if I stay well back, maybe I can do this without having to destroy them, but uh, oh, shit, there's another one at least. See the key there. <laughs> All right. Two patrolling ones haven't uh, seen me yet. Let's wait for them to go around behind that other pillar.
But it's just dark. Yeah, you'd think the path of fire would have more light, but it's all seems to be exceedingly dark. All right. That was uh, a lot easier than I thought. Definitely easier than my uh, terrified creeping around the tree beast, but um, that's because tree beasts terrify me and fire elementals don't. Fire elementals are just, you know, rocket wielding enemies. They're not especially terrifying. So, fire key got. I still haven't found the secret passage in the blue room, so we're gonna have to hunt for that switch. Uh, maybe I should have actually looked it up to save time on the episode, but never mind. We do have the white room now, which is north side, northwest, that's right, over here. And the passage here was downstairs. Assuming I found it, maybe I didn't find it. Maybe it wasn't downstairs. White is the path of air, she says. But, uh, is that a switch? Oh, that's just uh, a blot on the painting. Alright. That's suspicious, isn't it? Not I mean, but it's a bookshelf. Bookshelves are always suspicious places for switches. <laughs> I don't want your hair things. Hmm. <laughs> that wasn't that right. White is the path of air. I'm not looking in entirely the wrong room. One. White is the path of air, blue is the path of water. So two passageways I've not found. Well, I definitely suspected the blue room, and I should have suspected the white room, of course. As being, uh, this was Lady Isabel, Lady Isabella's room. So, uh, you know, she vanished without anyone seeing her. It makes sense, given all the guards, that uh, she vanished through the secret passage that led straight to her room here. There's a switch in the door, you know. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Am I blind? I'm probably blind. Hunting for uh, hidden switches, probably in all the wrong places. I haven't really checked out these pillars. Let's check the pillars. Chairs. Can't beat that. Badly hidden. I mean, I've played some missions where the switches were devilishly hidden, but uh, so far, the way this mission's been built doesn't lead me to suspect, you know, that uh, Lady Rowena, the designer of it, well, as opposed to the uh, character in the mission, uh, nothing. Leads me to suspect she's particularly, uh, what's the word, sadistic in terms of hiding things. It's uh, generally been fairly clear, you know, about leading us through. Aha! I knew that bookshop was suspicious. All right. Path of air. If I can get in. No, no jump. 
Ooh, that was path of metal as well there. Another ladder to go down, nothing <laughs> around to help. I guess the first one had the broadhead in the broken chest just in case we needed it to deal with the uh, frog beasts. Because there was one guarding one of the levers, so it would have been. Could have distracted it by chance, but it uh, would have been hard to deal with any other way. What do we face here? In the path of air. Wisps. Platforms. So far I don't see any enemies, that's nice at least. Well beyond gravity itself. Gravity is always one of Gareth's greatest enemies. Well, ladders, but gravity's their accomplice. Uh, as well as jumping. Oh, no, no, get on that guy. Right, kind of. Oof. What did I say about gravity? There we are. Land on it, not uh, half off it. Right, so we need to jump over that one, then take the platform to that one, then jump in there. How do I get up higher? I don't know yet. Take this platform as it comes out the other side. I can get around there. Wow, that's metal. Doesn't look like metal. How we get up there is a question for later. There is another platform, but I didn't see that it would help me. Right, let's jump up here. Oh, in fact, this is probably the way we get up to the higher level. the key of air, so we just need to ride this other platform safely. Well, he says no, nothing actively trying to kill me, just gravity constantly lying in wait for me to uh, fall to my doom. Well, I'm kind of half on it now. Uh, let's see if it gets any closer to the middle. This is weird, it's like my feet are sort of in it. No, oh, that didn't work. I just died in midair there. Nope. That's better now, I'm actually standing on it. Means I should be able to jump a little better and not have this sudden heart attack syndrome to worry about. Right, let's go. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Oh, I wonder what I'm... I'm actually hitting something in midair. It's not... It's not sudden heart attack syndrome at all. There must be something down there to kill me. Maybe it's the wisps. Maybe they're actually... Maybe they actually hurt. Where does it get closest? I guess here. Should have jumped down there. Let's try it now. Nope! <laughs> Ouch. But uh, that's alright, I can take a little bit of damage. Probably. Sorta. Of. Not that much damage. 
Still probably better than uh, trying to do the platforming. <laughs> yeah, now I'm getting stuck on these sharp edges. Try that once more. Run off there. Lose one hit point, that's fine. Let's jump. That was fine. Let's go down here. Oh, oh wow, that hurt quite a lot. Huh. Well, let's take it. Whatever. We're not dead. Hopefully we don't need the hit points, right? If you do, I'm screwed. Just in case there's uh, something later that needs a lot of hit points, what I'm going to do... Let's just make a hard save here. Let's just write that one. Uh, so I can come back to it. Just as a backup plan. Uh, carry on as if... Uh, with only six hit points. Did we get us some bread or something recently? I think I ate it and got nothing for it. Yeah. Why do I have holy water? It's a really good question. I've seen nothing needing holy water yet. Perhaps we will need it to make the sword a holy sword because maybe we just find an ordinary sword. We don't even have an ordinary sword at all yet in this mission. No! Not that safe game. That one. Always save before going on a ladder, Garrett. Always, always, always. One of the hardest things about putting level ladders into this game is making sure that you can detach from the top and the bottom safely without having to jump. Um, it's, it's certainly possible, but most design most designers don't <laughs> seem to do it. If you do have to jump, jumping and mantling is generally safer than trying to jump into a passage, especially one with a low roof like this, because if you hit the top when jumping off, you'll fall, whereas if you hit the bottom when jumping off, you can mantle. But a ledge on the other side of this pit that you just climb up the ladder and step off onto and then jump over, that would have been much preferable. Anyway, ladders, terrible things, usually best avoided, to be honest, but uh, sometimes necessary. So, now we have the blue room. Once again, we're going to have to hunt for a switch. This, the switch that opens this, it's not on here itself, is it? Uh, I, I thought I had actually searched this entire room. This is the path of water, right? So let's look in the around the water facilities. Probably irrelevant. Surely when someone was outfitting this bathroom, which is I'd say more recent than Lord Duncan's time, if there was a switch they would have found the passage, but uh You never know. I need to find it, so I better be thorough. This is a very nice, uh, very well appointed bathroom too. I like this sink. That's ah, just a bit of texture. Check the door frame. Alright, the bathroom seems clear. Oh, hello. Got it. Don't know how I missed that before. Seems quite obvious now, but uh... Anyway, here we go. The path of water. Let me guess, we're gonna have to swim underwater and hold our breath. Wonder if we're gonna have to have enemies to fight. Right, Ruinous Key. Where is it? Yep. Once again, nothing else around up here. Down we go. Ah, oh, look, there's water. Uh, 
You know what? I'm sure that's deep water, right? Whee! Uh, okay, we got a broadhead. What's that for? It's not the water key. Oh, there's another passage there, okay. Okay, so we do need the ladder after all. Fair enough. Oh, we got spiders. And the tunnel that we get stuck in. Alrighty, we got spiders. They haven't seen me yet, and only over the side. Oh, there's a big one over there. Oh, there's another big one over there. Bollocks. All right, work it up. God, my aim is terrible. Too high or too low? I can't tell. That was right. Missed. Damn it. Frog beast, save me! My frog be sick. I only got the little ones. I don't like spiders. I'm gonna have to reload because I'm gonna waste all my arrows here. Why's my aim so shit? I'm usually good at aiming with arrows. Ah! That's right, fall in the water and drown yourself. Maybe I should just sit in the water. Nope! Actually, maybe I should just sit in the water. This actually seems not ineffective. <laughs> well, okay. That's that's one way to deal with spiders. That's not a bad way at all. Alright, that's the way out. Where is the water key? It's not in the pool of water. Oh, I see diamonds. I should help with my loot goal. 4,700 out of 7,000. Dear, dear. Yeah, if this was part of a campaign... Oh, here we go. 7,000 would be a ridiculous target to reach. Uh, I guess it would mean you could buy everything out of the shop next time, right? If it was a one-off mission, that's not really a concern. Alright, what do we got down here? Let's hope there's no more spiders. Oh, I still got 24 arrows. I can take them. I've never, never uh, used leading enemies into water so they intentionally drown themselves as a tactic before. I have Done it by accident on occasion. Here we go. Path of water. We have what looks like boxes hiding switches over there. There's some diamonds in the water. I think we're going to over in that corner and that corner. So get some more loot here. And then I think we're going to have to climb up there and platform over these rocks to uh, get to the, the switches, or whatever those are. And to get to the key. I mean, the key's there. Right, let's get these diamonds. One. I don't see any others, just these two. Climb out the water 
here as well. So what is this? Uh, it doesn't frog. Okay, well let's try the other one. platforming goes. Alright, just switch opens the other switch. Skull switches. How pleasant. Alright, we don't need to platform this one because we can just get out of the water. Just here. Come on. And that's the water key. So that's the, all the keys we need. All four keys. Now, my problem is, we have four keys. But I haven't seen any locks that take these keys or anything, any place to use them. So I don't know yet where I'm going to have to go next. I'm surprised that the spiders were associated with uh, water. They're more earth sort of animals, but... I guess Thief doesn't really have many water affiliated enemies. Oh! Oh, that's right. <laughs> I was falling to my death there for a second. Okay. So we have the water key, the fire key, the air key, and the earth key. And nowhere that I know of to employ them. Guess I should hope for another hint from uh, Lady Rowena. I also don't understand why Lady Rowena is leading me through this, giving us these hints. She says she wants to challenge us, but, but why? What's unless she wants to be freed from this demonic existence? Okay. Four keys, alright, I've got I know about those passages, I've got them. Haven't been able to unlock that yet. That's not gonna be these keys. Although we have Rowena's key that might well unlock it. Let's go to her room and see if Rowena's key itself unlocks that. What else? We've got the chapel key. That's not going to be it. It's not going to be a mine. I forgot I had a mine. I could use that on the spiders. It's obviously not going to be any of these. Um, Alright. So, where to next? Says Lady Rowena. So, we haven't unlocked that. And I haven't been to the cemetery. I suppose I can clear the guards out of this front area. There's three of them. And then... Maybe we'll find the cemetery gate has unlocked itself. The alternative is we can wander around the garden. Because we did see the note about the guard who saw Lady Rowena herself in the garden. I'm scared to death. Well, not to death, but uh... Oh, that's where Lady Rowena's portrait used to be. I like... Oh, there's even a darker patch on the wall, nice. Um... To 
just a couple more of these myself, shall we? To get Mr. Uh, Acrobat here. What's his name? Jeffrey! Jeffrey, you're off duty now. You can uh, take a well and rest in this darkened hallway. I've been there, right? Yeah, that's that's got the passage down to the uh, basement. Alright, so we have two more guards here. And a bunch of lights, and I've got one more to arrow, so I'm not going to be able to put this lights out. How do I deal with these fellows? Got a noisemaker, but that's not going to help me knock them out. Is it? Well, maybe if they come and turn, the, turn their backs. I'll keep my water arrow. I could use it on this torch, but... If they can come into this dark corner, I'll get them. I'd rather if you don't come both at once, because it's hard to deal with both of you at once. Ouch. Ouch. See? That's what I mean. Well, I've got an escape route planned. Those points after all, right? Garland, you can wait there while I wait for your friend to give up searching wildly for me and come back to here. Or I could go hang out by the gate itself. Probably a bad idea. Is that a door? No, it's a pillar. Uh, have I been through that door? I have not, but that's right where we nearly started. There was a guard that patrolled through that way, but I knocked him out. So that one actually should be unlocked. Or maybe it needs the garden key. And I think I hear this fella coming back. Yep. He's given up searching for me. But I haven't given up. Oh. Why does you have to go that way? Over here! That's right. No, no, not there. Here. Yeah, good guess. I'm actually the other side. Now, don't chase Come me again. Up, then. If you chase me again, I'm going to have to run again and possibly lose another hit point jumping off that balcony. Alright. What's your name? George. Oh, you don't look like a default texture to me. Alright, where's my noisemaker? Stopped somewhere around here, I think. Oh, all the way over here. Not that I need it again, but uh, I doubt. Alright, so we have the front gate. And of course, uh, Lenny had the front gate key, right? And he's dead down in the pit. Um, well, let's hope we're going to get the front gate key, because one of our objectives is uh, to take Lady Isabella out through the front gate if she's still alive. Alright, so here we are at the start. Anything else in this garden? Just some spotlights. So the only place I haven't been, in terms of the grounds, not counting the secret underground area, is the uh, cemetery here. I didn't try the garden key here, did I? It would be funny if that's just the garden key. Nope. What about Rowena's key? Nope. 
and it wasn't pickable. So it feels like I've like I'm missing something, like a, something I've forgotten. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try. Where's the front door of the house? I'm not talking about this way. Try going up there along the edge. See if I can get to the cemetery that way, because I really don't know where else to to go looking just now. And if I check the map, right? I've been everywhere there, I've been everywhere there. Oh wait. Have I been there? Let's just check the bedrooms east. Pass it, you know, an area marked on the map there that's not part of the red room. And not a part of the red room's bathroom, right? Also, that looks valuable, why can't I steal it? Uh, be stuck on the furniture. Alright, so we have another... We definitely have another... Room... Over there that we have not been in. There's something there, some way to get there. Uh, unless... Oh wait, that's probably the upper part of the library. Yeah, that would be the upper part of the library. There's some stairs up somewhere. I guess I have been there. So I went through that. Alright. Back up to this balcony. Let's let's try this head stunt. It feels it feels Well it sort of feels wrong. Like it's not intentional. These just feel like they're here to block me, right? Can I mantle them? No, can I jump them? No, right, that's, that's a very short trip. So it's definitely not. We're definitely not meant to go that way. Are we meant to climb up here? Probably not. Oh, we can climb up here. Sort of. But we slide off. And we can't actually walk up it. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, I'm not going to take that. That's, that's just silly. Alright. So... Very clearly, that's not the way to get to the cemetery. So where to next? The last note we got was, uh, where's the stairs? Just as we emerged from the sacristy, telling us about these four keys. But there's nowhere to use those four keys that I've come across. Unless, unless there's something in the uh, underground chamber itself. Alright, let's go back to Rowena's room and use her secret passage. Feel safer than clambering down that uh, precarious rope. Use her secret passage, let's go back to the gates of hell, i.e. The, uh, the pit where Lenny was thrown, or fell, whichever it might be. The bit that Cedric uncovered by destroying the statue of the trickster. Pit, that's Rowena's room. Have a secret, here we are, have a secret passage leading to. If nothing else, We'll rule it out as another, as a place. But uh, hopefully, we will find some. So we don't have the Holy Sword, so it seems a little premature to come here. Fish room. Up here is the room with the actual door itself. And this doesn't look ominous at all, but there's nothing I can actually use it for. That's the way to the pit. I know. That's the way to the uh, door itself. So 
So here we are. That's the note that that's the sign the hammer left. The gate of hell, don't under, enter unless you have the holy sword. They locked it and it needs a key. Oh, I have the key, don't I? Alas, this key. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. This seems like a bad idea. I have a ruinous key. That's not the one, is it? If that is this key, this seems like a really bad idea. Okay. It isn't. Obviously, these ones aren't right. Phew! Okay, so we need. It is the last of key that we'll open that. Um. So, yeah, there's no point coming here just yet. Rock, so I can't pick. Oh, I see this way is actually blocks. Am I stuck now? Come on, tell me I'm not stuck. Alright, I didn't realize I was actually blocked off. Okay, did that rock? I wonder if that rock fall changed anything up above. I should go around to the other side and check then. If uh, more more of that collapsed than just that passageway, I might even have a way to get down to the bottom of the so-called bottomless pit and find Lenny there and find out what actually happened to him, or maybe find this key to the front gate. It's okay. Let's go check out the scene, the accident scene again, the pit. See if anything new has transpired there. That's probably not. But at this point, I don't know what else to do. So I'll just run with it. Ah, maybe maybe we meet Lady Rowena herself in the garden as uh, as the other guard did. But I doubt that. Here we are. Doesn't seem to be anything new here. Cut the rope. And check out this passage. Yeah, this passage is just blocked with that rock fall and there's nothing new. And I'm quite sure the falling down there will kill me. To do. I haven't even got anywhere near the loot goal yet, right? We're at 4,989. We still have more than 2,000 freaking gold to get. I kind of like that one. I can. Uh, okay, so I never needed to put my lantern down here at all. That's fine. So what, are, where, what to do? Where to go? I'm, I'm at a loss. Um, where does this, where does that passage go? I can't remember, but it, as I came out though, it doesn't help me. It goes to the well room or anything, right? There's nothing else in the dungeon. Nothing else in the cellar. Or the old barracks. Hmm. Cemetery is the only place, place I haven't gone, but I don't have a key to it. And if I haven't got a key to it yet, then uh, something's missing. I've got these four keys. Air key, fire key. But not seen anywhere that I could use them on. Where would I look for a holy sword? Well, the only place where anything holy would be would be the chapel, right? But that seems... Ridiculously unlikely. At least I've got rid of all the uh, guards wandering around, so I don't need to worry about uh, somebody 
hitting me with a sword anymore for a while. There's absolutely nothing here to relate to this. The sacristy, but the sacristy didn't have anything either. It's just got the passage there that leads back to the well room. Is there any point going back to the well room? I doubt it. I'm still trapped in here, right? So I'm not going to be able to get back out that way. Oh dear. Alright, I think I'm gonna go look this one up on the forums because just this kind of uh, wandering about a lot. It's not very fun to play and it's definitely not particularly fun um, to watch, I don't think. Before I do that, I do realise I've got a good screenshot, I think, for to represent the mission. So I'm see what the front of the mansion looks like and see if that's maybe a, a good still. Yeah, not the best. Yeah, that's a terrible change of tactics. I don't know where to go, so let's look for a screenshot where the uh, spot. Honestly, this would be a better screenshot, right? If there's a good angle. Maybe from up above. Nah. Maybe maybe highlighting the missing portrait. Gives me a nice dark patch on the left of the tablet. Yeah, okay. I'll stick with that. Alright. Uh, so I'm going to cut the recording here and go look up what it is I'm missing. Excuse me, 48 minutes. So let's just make this a slightly shorter episode. I'll look at what I'm missing and I'll see you back here for the next episode and hopefully the uh, conclusion, the denouement, the climax of this mystery. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.